I would like to show you how you can generate digital proof tokens for your creative works, such as your photography, using Web Commodore. These digital proof tokens are evidence that you were in possession of your digital files, your photos, your images, at a specific moment in time, and are therefore an essential part of effective copyright protection. To generate these digital proof tokens using Web Commodore is very straightforward, as I will show you. Uh, you need a Web Commodore account. Uh, don't worry if you don't have one. You can create a free, free trial account very, very easily on the uh, Web Commodore website. And within your Web Commodore account, you go to the digital proof section uh, into the fingerprint tokens area. Now, as it stands, for my account here that looks pretty empty. I haven't created any fingerprint tokens as yet. And I'll create one now for you to see how easy that is. Uh, you select a particular category that best matches what we're doing. So in this case we're talking about a photograph that I took. It's a picture of a seagull um, which I select in the browser here. Uh, bear in mind, the actual file itself, the picture, never gets uploaded anywhere. So you're responsible for storing it on your storage device and keeping it backed up. Uh, Web Commodore is not a backup service, but instead uh, the browser takes a generates a unique fingerprint for the file, which is unique to that particular image, and it then combines it with a very accurate date and timestamp uh, to create a digital proof token. Now that process completes very quickly, just within seconds, and as we can see we have now generated a fingerprint token, a digital proof token, for my seagull picture. Uh, the token looks like this. You can click on that uh, icon on the side to actually download a copy. And it's good practice to download this token file. It's a small text file. And as you can see, lots of gobbledygook in there. It's uh, meant to be read by uh, computers only. But it is a small text file uh, that uh, is digital proof that you were in possession of exactly that seagull image at a particular moment in time. Uh, it's good practice to download and save this fingerprint file alongside your photos. Now, Web Commodore will also keep a copy of this fingerprint token in the cloud, so at any time you can verify um, the uh, token by going into the token verification area here on the left hand side. And to do this really is very straightforward because all you have to do is select one of your files that you have created a token for in the past. So in this case that would be the seagull file. And again um, the browser takes a, uh, generates a fingerprint which then is compared to the tokens that you've previously created on Web Commodore um, as Web Commodore has a copy of your token and finds that it has seen this image before and uh, that you indeed are, uh, it, that you were in possession of that file at this particular date and time, um, which you can also get a hard copy certificate for. So you, by clicking on that certificate icon here, you can download a PDF document, which looks a bit like this. Well, almost exactly like that. It is a certificate, which you can print in hard copy, that uh, the seagull image indeed uh, belonged to you at this particular moment in time. This is very useful should there ever be a copyright dispute where you need to prove that you were in possession of your image first or at a particular time ahead of someone else. Um, you know, having, having that kind of evidence in your hands is, is going to be very strong. Um, advantage. Now I'm going to quickly now show you how you can create multiple fingerprint tokens at the same time. Um, so again you go into the fingerprint tokens area and click
click on create tokens in order to generate new digital proof files. Um, again, I'm going to generate this for photos and I put a description in this time. So these three photos I will generate the tokens for are all Brighton pictures, uh, seaside images. And I'm going to select uh, multiple files now at the same time. So these are the three images. Um, and I'm going to choose them. And again, a unique fingerprint is generated for each of these, which results in a digital proof token being available for each of these files. As you can see, them, the whole process is only a matter of seconds. It's very fast, independent of the file size of your images or the number of them, because as I explained, the images themselves are actually never transferred or uploaded anywhere. It's only ever the fingerprint that is generated and stored. Um, and again, for each of these, you can download the actual uh, fingerprint token file to store with the image or rely on Web Commodore's very secure and safe um, storage mechanism on the cloud that keeps a copy of your digital proof tokens for you. Now, I hope that explains it. It's uh, very simple and very quick to generate hundreds or even thousands of these uh, fingerprint tokens that afford you reliable and effective copyright protection because should it ever come to the crunch, here is your evidence, that strong evidence that's admissible in court, that you were indeed in possession of these files exactly as they are um, at a particular moment in time in the past. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, good luck in creating your digital first digital proof tokens on Web Commodore.